Hey guys, <clears throat> how you doing? This is Shrek with Shrek Outdoors. So I'm um, coming to you from Beverly Hills, Florida. I'm originally from um, Woodsboro, Texas. I was uh, born in Refugio, Texas and raised in Refugio County. Uh, recently moved up to Florida this past year and um, recently got into bass fishing about a year and a half now and just having a blast doing it. Um, got into the custom bait world by accident and um, when I was in Texas, I actually, um, uh-oh, my microphone's kicking out. Damn it. Anyway, so when I was in Texas, I came home and my daughter's played toy, so I thought I'd have fun with it. So I'm just gonna pretend I'm using it anyway. So when I actually was in Texas, uh, came across a, uh, a guy named Heath Hempel, and he ties uh, custom uh, lures made out of bunny hair, and uh, they work great uh, in salt water and fresh water. They work great for redfish, um, especially if you're out and kayaking, and you sight you can sight fish them. Um, and uh, he also has come up with several different designs. He came up with one for bass. They work for all, all of them. Work for everything. But, uh, you know, he's got several different models out there. Uh, they're very reasonably priced for um, what he puts into it. Everything he puts into it is quality. And the time and just the art of it is amazing. He has videos on YouTube. I encourage you to go watch some of his videos. Um, and even other people are doing videos with his lure showing you how to fish them. And uh, I would encourage that as well. Um, he is a become a, a good friend of mine and uh, so uh, with his permission and uh, whatnot I mean he sells not only the lures uh, but he, he sells uh, his jig heads and he sells stuff that you can make the lures and like I said he has YouTube videos showing how how to make them you know um, not everybody can do them <laughs> So, my um, wanting to do that was just, just watching him just was just amazing. Just his technique and uh, how just, uh, I don't know, it's just, some things are just fascinating, you know, and, it, and that's just one of those things. I could sit there and watch him tie all day long. Um, his, you know, like I said, his techniques, the way he does it the extra steps that he does to make sure that they last and um, that everything he does is quality. Um, he built this from the ground up, guys, out of his garage. And, you know, he, uh, there's a whole story on his page. I recommend going to his page. I don't, I don't it would take me forever to go through his whole story, but I mean, from the jig heads and whatnot, I mean, he started out uh, having somebody make him some and then he started making his own and then he found the guy that he has now that makes them for him and uh, already has them painted and whatnot and makes it a whole heck of a lot easier and a lot cheaper in the long run so um, without further ado uh, I um, had uh, reached out to him and got some of his jig heads and stuff for uh, for bass jigs um, I've been playing around with it, with doing crappie jigs and doing some other things, but I'm probably most proud of this one. Um, I think this has probably come out the best so far that I've ever done. And this is actually probably my third time to tie. And if you look at his and look at mine, you'll see the little differences. Um, and it's not that big a deal, right? I mean, you just kind of throw some of your own um, style in there so this is actually up, upside down on how it works but i'm just kind of showing you around but what's cool about this is the it's three three strips of bunny hair magnum bunny hair and they separate like this once these get wet um bunny hair is like one of the best in the water once these get wet they just kind of uh, just kind of float up and they make this blob and it's freaking awesome so here's actually how, when you throw it out, here's how it's gonna land. It's gonna land like this every time. And so anybody who fishes a jig, I mean, you can swim it in, 
you know, or you can throw it out, let it hit the bottom and then slowly pull it in, let it sit there, kind of jig it a little bit, pull it in, let it jig it a little bit. But that's, that's how that works. So the cool thing with this, you can fish it plain and you can see it's got little strips on the back to hold the bunny hair on there. Uh, a lot of people leave it plain because the bottom of uh, the bottom of fish are kind of this color. Um, I could probably do it in a little tan or whatever, but I don't really need to. Um, so that that's not a issue at all. Um, one cool thing about this is you can put trailers on it. I don't have one on me. I don't think. Let me see. Um, so this middle one actually. Oops, sorry. Got out of the camera. This middle one has a little split in here. So what you do is you pull that up and through that split and take that off when you get ready to put your trailer jig on there. You can see there's two parts of the jig where I tied at the top and then there's one that you can throw a trailer on there and it's got a little bait um, catch. Let me look over here real quick because I, I should have got something. I mean, uh, match exactly but this one's actually pretty good I'm trying to find something that's in my color I've had this one for this bag for a while. I might just try it out today if it stops raining. So this is a 13 fish and crawl. Crawl plastic crawl. I do like 13 fishing. Um, there's uh, plenty of people that go back and forth. You know, some people like Iowa, some people like um, Abu Garcia, some people like. Um, Thirteen fishing, which is probably one of the newer, and I wasn't sure about it at first. I I wouldn't pay full price. I waited till last year until they started blowing them out, and then, that's when I got all of mine. And so far, as long as you, it's like anything. As long as you take care of it, uh, it's gonna last. I do have some Shimano's. I don't have the Corrado. Um, if you know the Shimano Corrado, I'm probably gonna get one. I'm gonna get the DC, and that's got um, a little chip in it to where uh, when you throw it out, that after you throw it out a couple times, it automatically adjusts where you can throw it out and you don't have to really worry about your thumb and it won't backlash, so kind of cool. But it's really the only one I don't have. So here's your trailer. So, a lot of these trailers you want to take, you don't want it to be too long, but you want it longer than, you want these fins, because they're going to swim, you want them to be longer than this, otherwise they're going to get caught up, whatnot. So, I'm just going to try and see what happens here. We can always take it back off and cut it shorter. Let's see. Tell when you get old. Always have to think about this because it's backwards than what you normally do. So I put it on that way. That's the way it should go. All right. Now that I talk myself through that, we're gonna take them. I don't really like the weed guards, <laughs> and I uh, wasn't gonna put them on there, but then it looked a little. Uh, a little plain without the weed guards. But one trick you can do is actually you can trim them down, which I am going to trim this one down. So, it's my dog over there. So we're going to take this, we want to make sure it's straight, and I'm going to keep going around. I'm 
make sure you come out the middle. Let me see if this. <clears throat> so once you get it on there, the hook comes out. You're lucky it comes out the middle. That one didn't really come out the middle, so we're gonna go back and do it again. You have to bear with me. It's been three months since I've messed with this stuff, really. So. Go a little bit further. Now I'm more out the middle. Now you got that bait keeper. That's on the other side. So I'm going to push it over that bait keeper. And that'll keep it on. Just kind of straighten it out. You take your uh, bunny hair on top. You find that little slit in the top. You slide it back over the hook. Mm. Bada bing, bada bing. So now you have a jig with the trailer. When you swim it, you have all these little appendages and you have these legs that kick. So it gives it even that much more realism. So I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, some people might think that's a little long. I don't think that's too long. Um, I'll definitely try it and if anything I can cut it a little bit shorter but I think where the you can see where the gray kind of goes it goes it kind of goes to the legs and if you get it anywhere past here and then it'll it'll affect the swimming of the legs so again this is uh my first uh, first one that I'm it's my third one that I've tied I think and this is probably, well, no, it's my second one that I tied. And I'm really proud of how this came out. And, <clears throat> you know, he's, you know, he's, he's a cool guy. He's like, you know, feel free, you know, feel free to copy my designs or whatever, whatever. But I'm, that's not what I want to do, you know. I mean, I like his designs. So, like anything, um, I like to take some cues off of it and then just kind of add things to it that I think might be cool. And uh, so that's what I'm doing. That's kind of what I'm doing with my whole process. But, you know, anyway, so again, this is how it goes. All right, guys, strike out. Good luck. I hope everybody likes this and uh, you know, if you want one, let me know and I'll see what I can do. Take care.